Hi you guys, Jennifer here from My Purpley Life. And you're probably wondering, what is this I have in front of me today? Well, guess what? Today I'm going to talk about punches. Um, hole punches in particular. Um, I have been making some dividers. And um, I love printing out my own stuff and then punching them and placing them into my Filofax organizer. So I wanted to show you guys some of the options if you wanted to do that as well. Um, I did recently acquire an, an A5 size Filofax. So this is an A5 divider. And if I wanted to hole punch this, I could either use a single hole punch that looks like this. Um, this one I think I got at Staples. It was just a single hole punch. And then you can also use, and then what I've done here is you can see I've traced out the circles so that I can easily find out where to hole punch the holes, like so. Another option that I have is called the Repesco Punch. Um, I'll post a link to where you can get this um, down in the description bar below. Um, it's a six hole punch. And you can see here that the punch looks like this. And then what I like to do, um, this by the way, punches pocket size. So when you want to punch a pocket size, you just squeeze these two together like so. And then there you have the pocket um, size punches. If you want a personal size, you just go ahead and separate that. And then now you have um, what fits a personal size. So now, instead of just blindly punching out, um, let me see if I have another divider here. What I can't see, I don't have one. What I do is I just remove this covering here, which holds all the little punch outs. And then what I'm going to do is flip that around. I hope there's some stuck in there, but let's take that out. So now I can see the holes. So what I'm going to do is take my divider, if it were personal or pocket or A5, and just look for where I um, drew in those holes there. So I'm going to use this one and I can find the holes like so. And then I will punch it. And then it comes out like that. And then I would do the same for the other side. Um, if another option that I wanted to use, since I don't have um, an A, this since this technically doesn't cut A5 in one swoop, um, swoop of a punch, I um, was recommended by um, my friend Linda, and I'll post her Lisa. channel down below. Um, this is called the cinch. She recommended the cinch. Since I have this laying around, um, let me just show you guys an example of what I've made with that this big machine. Um, I've made this little binder here. So you can make your own binder and it punches out these holes so that you can stick, hold on, um, these rings in to this little machine and it makes a little book for you. So, I was going to just change some of the settings here. What you would do is um, simply pull out what punches you need. Hold on, this is clap. Since this is in um, storage mode, I have it clasped down. But you can unclasp it like so. And then what you would do is you would put in your paper. Let me just grab some paper for you guys so you can see what that looks like. And then this is set for um, a seven inch. Let's go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. So if you had like a bigger piece of paper, you can do that. And then punch it that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and just punch that so you guys can see what that looks like. But I have everything um, punched so that way I can I get everything punched out and it looks like that. 
know if I what I wanted to do was punch out an A5 size. So I was thinking to maybe um, you would pull out the ones that you don't want. So I was thinking every other one. And let's just see how that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and punch this again. And see how that looks. So it looks like that. Now the problem is with the cinch is that um, it's the holes are kind of preset. You can't adjust the width of the holes. So let's see what I'm talking about. This was just every other hole but it's still not narrow enough to match with the holes of an organizer. They are just a tad bit too wide. And if I did every if I set this to that so that I punch every hole, um, they would be too narrow. Like so. So even if I were to do that, I would only get maybe these two holes that would line up, but then I wouldn't have a hole here in the middle. So I would still have to use either a combination of the cinch and then maybe a single hole punch. Let's try this again and then just do, let's see, it would be one, two, three, let's see how that would look like, four. So I want one and four. Okay. So the ones I don't want are two and three, five and six, eight and nine, and eleven and twelve. So let's see how that looks like there. I'm just going to punch that out here. Press this down. And then there you go. So now I have this. So that matches up there. But then I would still have to have a hole here. And that doesn't quite line up there as well. Yep, it doesn't. Let me show you guys there. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, I'm going to zoom in. But it does line up with this hole, this hole. It doesn't line up with there. And then there's like this random one in the middle. So that didn't quite work out. Um, the way I wanted to as well. So, so much for the cinch working. I think I'll just stick to my Repesco punch for now and then just do the method as I showed earlier, just removing this bottom piece and then flipping this backwards and then using this, aligning it with the circles that I drew and then punching it that out that way, like so. So that's what I'm going to stick to. Unfortunately, the cinch didn't work out the way I wanted it to. But um, if you did have a cinch and you wanted to try that out, um, now you know. So I hope you guys have found that video helpful. Um, be, feel free to leave any comments down below. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.